Hi, I'm Larry Richardson, your step-by-step -step chef. One of the cool things about being able to cook for yourself is being able to treat yourself every now and then. In this episode, we're going to have a big treat. It's bacon. Everybody loves bacon. And the way we're going to have it today is in a bacon, cheese, and tomato omelet. It's very easy to make and it's really tasty. So come on, let's cook. And the basic ingredients for our bacon, cheese, and tomato omelet are, of course, bacon, cheese, tomato, and eggs. Specifically, what we have here is just under a quarter cup of cooked bacon. And we cooked it very crispy and then broke it into bite-sized pieces. Next up, we have a quarter cup of cheese. You're certainly welcome to use a half a cup if you wish. This is shredded cheese, and the measure when I made it is not packed down. So you can see it's nice, loose, shredded cheese. We have two Campari tomatoes. This will come out to just under a quarter cup after we clean the tomatoes. We have four eggs, one teaspoon of butter, and we're going to use one tablespoon of water to fluff up, fluff up our eggs. So that's our ingredients. Now let me show you how to make it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is clean our tomatoes. Tomatoes can be very wet in omelets, and if you put in something that's super wet, it's just gonna make everything else soaked and it makes it harder to cook it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the caps off the tomatoes, and you can see this getting done. If you um, can't find Campari tomatoes, you can use any tomato you do have in your area, and you just wanna clean it. You wanna clean it and come up with um, a quarter cup. As you can see, the, the pulp with the seeds is just rushing out of this tomato, and I don't want that in my omelet. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting each of the tomatoes in half, and then over my sink, I'm going to just squeeze out the pulp, the seeds in the pulp. Okay, so you can see that I've removed the seeds in the pulp. And then what I just want to do is um, chop the tomato fine for inside the omelet. <clears throat> you don't want really big tomato pieces. Here we go. And I don't mind if some of this white core is in the, in the omelet. It can add a little bit of flavor too, a little bit of variety and texture. And I'm just putting this aside in a bowl. And there we have it. Our quarter cup of tomato is ready to roll. Now what we're going to do is make our omelet egg mixture. So we're going to crack our four eggs into this bowl. Then we're going to add a tablespoon of water. Now this tablespoon of water fluffs up the eggs. If you use more than a tablespoon of water, you're going to end up with enormously fluffy eggs. And if you add too little, they can be on the flat side. Some people also add a tablespoon of milk to their omelets. And to be quite frank, some people add no water or milk at all. They like their eggs flat. Personally, I like a little bit of fluff to them. So now I'm going to beat the eggs to a nice smooth consistency, and yet I don't mind if there are some clear windows left in it. They actually will come in handy when we're working over at the stove. And there we go, the eggs are in a nice smooth consistency. This frying pan has been preheating over just under medium heat for about five minutes. So it has some good heat going, and we're just going to add our teaspoon of butter and coat the bottom of the pan. And try to get it good and coated. You don't want the egg to stick to this pan at all. Now we'll pour our egg mixture into the pan. And what we're going to do is take a look through the clear windows and when we see um, white or yellow, a more solid white or yellow, and we're not seeing the bottom of the pan anymore, then we'll know that a nice basement of uh, cooked egg has formed. So when we add our other ingredients, they won't just fall through and get scorched on the bottom of the pan. So this can take up to two minutes. And two minutes later, we're going to add our 
almost quarter cup of tomato to half of the omelet, just half of it. And then we're going to top that with our bacon bits. And we'll spread our cheese over the other half. And again, I'm using about a quarter cup of cheese and you're welcome to use a half or more. It's just totally up to you. I just find that this mix is perfect. The um, bacon has its delicious crispy saltiness. The tomato adds a nice tang and just enough cheese to keep it interesting. So we're going to cover the pan and what we're looking for is for the cheese to fully melt and the egg to solidify. I don't want any runny egg. This will take two to three minutes, so we'll check on it in two minutes. And two minutes later, let's take a look. Okay, it's still looking a little bit wet to me, so I'm going to give it one more minute. And here we are back a minute later. Let's take the cover off. And that looks perfect to me. The cheese is cooked through and all of the egg is dry. So what I do is I take my spatula on the cheese side and I just flip this over. Now you can see some of the tomato has created a little bit of moisture on that side and it's just running out. That's harmless. And all I'm going to do, this omelet is for two people, I'm just going to slice it in half and serve it up. So congratulations, look at what you just did. You just made a bacon, cheese, and tomato omelet. Now this is a real treat. I really do enjoy having these every now and then. Now if you go to my website, thestepbystepchef.com, you're going to find a printable version of this recipe, and you're going to find written recipes and step-by-step -step videos for dozens of other delicious meals. My name is Larry Richardson. I'm your step-by-step -step chef, and I'll see you in the next episode.